Hello everybody and welcome to the Irregular Magic High School Season 2 Episode 6 Cease is French for 6 Anime Review uh, In this week's episode we had some It was a bit, it was a lot more light and fluffy than like the epic fights of the previous weeks It was just, it was just Valentine's Day, weren't it? Hey, hey, well, on Valentine's Day you forget how big Tatsuya's harem has gotten Until they lay it out in front of you Which, yeah But the biggest, the biggest tragedy this episode was not Tatsuya's uh, taste buds after Mayumi's chocolate. No, no, no. It was of course poor Mickey Hiko. Poor guy. He's got it rough. He's got it really rough. Uh, anyway though, let's get into the episode, see how everything went down, and do this thing. We begin with Lena, who hears Sylvia's getting taken, taken back home, basically because they did such a bad job in, you know, their mission, that everybody except Lena is getting punished for it by being sent home. Kinda don't think that's actually what's going on, I feel like there's something else going on with the, the higher-ups at her thing. She's being kept behind for a specific reason, but she's getting rid of all the, all the fluff, basically. This new Colonel character shows up and is like, it's not good you lost, you know, and uh, it's, but it's, we don't blame you, uh, vindicate yourself, get back to work, do really good, you know. Can't tell what I think of this Colonel character, don't think if they're good, are they just, are they good, but are they just like pretty uptight or are they actually bad? I can't really tell. Who can tell? Not me. Um, gonna give them the highest possible support. So they brought in the elite team to help, help, uh, help Lena out with her, with her big old mission she's got to do. That's pretty exciting. Then we go to Tatsuya, who's learning from Shisho how to properly directly attack the parasites through the ether flow or whatever. I don't remember exactly what they called it, but basically directly attack it in its parallel world dimension. Thing. I don't really exa exactly get it. Uh, they also decide it's probably better to, you know, figure out a different way to do it. And Miyuki says, Miyuki has offers a compromise like practice this and come up with another way in case this doesn't work at the same time, Tatsu. You can do that. And he's like, you know what? My sister, who I'm definitely not attracted to in a in a romantic sense, that sounds like a great idea. I will I will I will do that. I will take that under advisement. We then go to the news, which is reporting on what Shizuku told them about the black hole experiments, but for some reason, they're just making it seem like it's all the magician's fault, even though the magicians had very little to do with this incident, but they're getting all the blame, I guess, because it's, it's propaganda, basically. Those two, uh, the Tatsuya, the Shibas, Tatsuya and Miyuki, go to see Lena to ask how much about any of this is true, and they're like, it, it's kind of true, but it's really not, though, you know. They're, they're not exactly lying, they're just putting a real negative spin on everything. Um, Lena says it's probably something behind the Seven Sages, who are this rogue group type people. They're pretty, they're pretty rogue. They don't know who they are, other than they're called the Sages, the, the leaders of this rogue group or, you know, anti-government group. I forget exactly what they were. But, um, Tatsuya then asks finally, did you draw the parasite into this world on purpose? Or did they, the scientists, whatever, draw it in on purpose? And Lena's like, no, I'm very angry you said that. I will hit you. And Miyuki's just like, Lena, stop. It's not Onisama's fault. Uh, take a shot for every Onisama. I think I've said that before, but it still, it still applies. The next day, or I think it's the next day, might be the same day actually, Honoka is putting a lot of effort into something. What is that something she's putting effort into? Well, it turns out it's Valentine's Day tomorrow, and boy, we know who she's going to give it to. Yes, we do. Uh, Tatsuya then says something, not cryptic, but like a bit sad, he's like, I can accept gifts, but I can't return what really matters, and it's like, oh, so he's not an idiot, he's not oblivious, he does know, he just doesn't have any feelings, which feels a bit bad, uh, him and Miyuki do a, do a flip, you know, their thing, they're staring at each other longingly, despite the fact that they are blood related, I don't believe they're blood related, I'm sorry, um, Lena interrupts them and is like, hey, uh, what can I hate to be a third wheel, but uh, we need to, we need to talk basically. They talk about Valentine's chocolate for a bit. Lena does a heart shape with her hand, which was way cuter than it had any right to be. Um, and then Miyuki hits during a conversation. She uh, Lena's like, "You gonna give some to Tatsuya?" And Miyuki hits the, "What are you on about? We are siblings." And then Lena's like, "Right, like everyone." Lena's like, "I don't think that's gonna stop you. You know, I don't think." You being siblings is going to stop you doing the naughty. So I think you, you two need to be watched at all times. It's basically where we're at. Uh, at the end of this section, we go to Mayumi, who after, remember what she said? She was going to make Tatia pay with some bitter chocolates. We see her making said chocolates with a witch, like a witch, like, like with a cauldron. 
uh, her siblings are looking on like, yeah, that looks pretty bad. I don't want to be that guy. And uh, no, you don't want to be that guy. I think that's fair enough. Can't tell if she's doing it deliberately or if she's just not very good at making chocolate. Could be a bit of both, honestly. The next day, Honoka begins Operation Give Tati Your Chocolates. It goes pretty well. Uh, no, it doesn't. Actually, I'm telling a lie. She gets him alone. Uh, and the, she was, she tried to say, take the chocolates tattoo. She went, she, she called him like Tattoo or something. She got his name wrong, basically, because she was so nervous. Luckily, Tatia is Tatia and doesn't pay much attention to that. He's like, thank you for the chocolates. Have these earrings or bracelet, whatever it is. Like, I think it was a bracelet, actually. Have this bracelet I gave it for you. And she's very happy, obviously, because she got a present from Tatia. And, he, and he's going to give her something for White Day. Honoka, you lucky gal. Um... And then they start glowing the necklace. I don't know if it's from um, Honoko herself or from the the bracelet, sorry. But it starts glowing and that wakes up the maid robot. The maid robot, which let's not forget, has got the parasite in it. So I guess it's going to be after Honoko for some reason. Which isn't good because Honoko is pretty not strong. Like, uh, she's not, she's not like useless, but she's... She's not near the top of the food chain in terms of the characters, is she? No, she is not. Then I figured we'd just get all the Valentine stuff out of the way very, very quickly. So Leo's back in class. Mizuki gives them all chocolates. All of them get the same chocolate again. Poor Mikihiko. He is... It's the biggest tragedy this season, in all honesty. Poor Mikihiko. Erica shows up. She doesn't like Valentine's Day very much. And then she tries to get Mikihiko in trouble with... Because uh, I forget exactly what Mikihiko says. But, um... She, Erica doesn't take too kindly to it and tries to get him in trouble, basically. Tries to make him seem like he's a floozy. And Mizuki's just like, is that true? Are you really a, a man whore? And, you know, not those exact words, but he's he's in trouble. Some more girls give Tatsuya some. I forgot who they were. There's like a red-haired girl and then like a taller girl. I searched my brain. They said something about the tournament arc. Arc? Tournament arc? Arc, yeah. Uh, and uh, I forgot them. I forgot their existence. So... But they gave him some chocolates too. From the whole team, I think they said. So that's that's good. I guess for helping out. Makes makes some sense. Then he runs into Mayumi. Uh, there's chocolate giving all around. He runs into Mayumi, who pretty much killed Hattori with her chocolate. Tatsuya sees this, and he's like, Tatsuya, please, water! And he gets him some water, and then he runs off. Uh, she then also gives Tatsuya her chocolate, and he's like, okay, I guess I'll take this. But first, we have to talk in private about the parasite. And that's what they go and do. Parasite's been hiding for a bit. It's not in. The, it's not in the top of the news. Basically, it's it's in hiding because obviously it's in the robot, as we know. Um, the parasite they reckon have like shared senses or shared experiences, so they're learning from each other. They've got like a linked consciousness, kind of, kind of like telepathy, but not really. Um, is sort of what they were saying. Mayumi is a bit worried because he starts on about some jargon, which I forgot exactly what he was talking about. But uh, she's worried because it might she might fail her exam because she doesn't know it. And he's like, don't worry, it's a different thing. I'm just really clever because I'm Tatsuya, basically. He tried to leave, uh, tried to escape is more like. It was a great diversion. But then she was like, Tatsuya, eat the goddamn chocolate. And he's like, okay, well, I guess I have no chocolate. Really couldn't tell if she wanted to just torture him or if she actually was trying to make something he'd like. But uh, she failed on that second one. He, he does eat it though. Tatsuya is, you just gotta grin and bear it. That's what you gotta do in that situation. Just eat it, say it's good, and then get out of there as fast as you can. But not too good. Don't be like, oh, it's delicious. Cause then be like, I made more. Uh, no, you just wanna be like, yeah, it's pretty good. And then and then get out of there. Escape, escape Tatsuya. He, he, he escapes just about with his life. I think that's fair to say. A few hours later, he's still coughing from the uh, from the effects of the chocolate. All those terrorists and that, they can't defeat Tatsuya, but badly made chocolate, the man will be down for the count. Uh, Lena's just glaring at him this whole time. Uh, we later learn why, but uh, I mean, I'll get to that when I get to it, I guess. He sees something in the sky, so he, and he, that's pretty weird. What the thing in the sky is, it's a satellite surveillance camera from Lena's team. Because, um, you know, they've got the new uh, help team. What are they called? Contr I've forgotten what I called them before. Support team, that's what they're called. Uh, with the colonel and everything, he spotted their, you know, satellite camera. You know, he's got good eyes, does Tatsuya. He does not need glasses like myself. Um, get home. Miyuki gave him chocolate, like chocolate sauce and stuff with his dinner and everything. He catches her when she trips over. It's very, very romantic, except for the fact that, you know, she's his sister. But that's let's forget about that. It's Japan. They do whatever they want. Um, he tells her to go rest because she tripped over because, and she's all red. She's red, obviously, because it's bloody lovey-dovey, isn't it? 
Uh, and then when she's by herself, she says, why must I be her, his sister? And then she was like, <gasps> like that. Like, as I'm like, I'm just sitting here like, Miyuki, are you only just realizing you like Katya like that? Are you serious, girl? Like, are you serious? You're only just realizing that? Don't buy that for a second. post credit scene, more re realizing people like Katya. Lena was too embarrassed to give him chocolate because she had some, just obligation chocolate, but she was too embarrassed because she then she realizes, crap, I like Katya too. So that's how many we got. We got at least four, right? Honoka, Miyuki, um, Lena, Mayumi. That's four. Is there more? Does Erica like Tatsu? She does, doesn't she? That's five, isn't it? Man, how many people like Tatsu? Have, have I missing? Shizuku doesn't, right? I'm not going to keep track of this, so let's let's just move on. Uh, but then when uh, Lena gets home, the Colonel is in her house. Don't know why. Presumably she's going to be not very happy that she's talking to Tatsu. Uh, or it's going to be something completely unrelated. And uh, we'd be like, hey, well, here's what we're going to do for the part next part of the mission. That might also be it. Uh, that would make a lot of, a lot more sense, honestly. I doubt the Colonel particularly cares that Lena is crushing on Tatsuya. Uh, it, it won't affect the mission, so whatevs. Uh, and that was the end of the episode. As I said, not too much actually happened in the form of going on with the parasite and everything. We just know it's in hiding. But uh, hey, sometimes you need Valentine shenanigans to cheer you up. Have, let you have a good day. So that's... That's lovely indeed. Don't think we're going to have too much of it, to be honest. Too much uh, happy days. It's going to be mostly ba bam ba bam ba bam And I'm okay with that too, but it's nice to take a break every once in a while. Uh, anyway, let's get to my favourite part of the episode and see what it was and see how it all went. Because I, I can't remember what I chose for my favourite part. It's in, it's, in my, it's in my notes and I'm not going to look yet. I'm looking the cut. Let's check it out. So my favourite part of the episode is the whole thing with Mayumi's chocolate. Just from the second you see uh, Matey Boy, whose name I've forgotten again, uh, Hattori, when you see him just down for the count, and Tatsuya's just like, I gotta escape. I like Tatsuya's es escape plan that almost worked, but didn't quite work. I also like how m happy Mayumi looked when he was eating it. Like, I can't tell if she was happy because she's got one over on him and made him suffer, or because she's actually, like, in into him and she's happy. Well, I mean, we know she's into him, but you know what I mean. Because uh, she's a tough, tough cat to crack, that is for sure. Uh, and so, so is Tatsuya, but he cracked a little bit when he ate that chocolate, as did his teeth, because it was probably rock solid. Um, anyway, yeah, that was another exciting episode. I enjoyed it. It wasn't really exciting, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. It was a fun episode, uh, and that's you need that every so often. Uh, let me know what you thought and everything in the comments. I like reading people's comments, so it's always good to see. Who's your favorite favorite best girl? Let's go with that. That's a fun question to ask that sometimes gets answered, but sometimes doesn't. So... I'll see you next week. Take care. Have a good time. If you enjoyed, subscribe and stuff for so you see when it's out next week. Uh, take care and bye guys.